Hello everybody, Spider here once again, uh, the Fight Car Podcast, of course, here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. I'm inside the HOJ facility, uh, training facility as always, and I uh, wanted to go over a few things, man. This one coming up is going to be for the B2 uh, Fighting Series number 152. Uh, B2 promotion has been uh, steamrolling. They've, they've been busy, they've been having fights pretty much once, twice a month, and uh, with the numbers itself, it shows, man. I mean, they've been traveling. The next one coming up is going to be in Summersville, West Virginia. And uh, as far as the card itself, man, I mean, right now, uh, there's four bouts con uh, confirmed. Of course, um, five cards subject to change. Hopefully, they won't. I wanted to go over uh, four of the bouts that they have coming up. Now, once again, um, this is for uh, B2 Fighting Series. Uh, we're going to have Dom Steele, heavyweight. Uh, the man himself is a UFC uh, veteran. Uh, he's coming in against Kelvin Fidial. Uh, Fidial is fought in Guam, Coliseum. He's a B2 Fighting Series uh, returning fighter. And uh, both heavyweights, man. I mean, Fidial with a 15-10-2 record. Um, Steel with an 18 and 12 record, so there's a lot, a world of experience. Uh, both these guys, of course, are not gonna want to lose. And this fight can either be quick or it's gonna be long, man. It's only one way to find out. Uh, once again, this is gonna be in Summersville, West Virginia, and it's gonna be on March 19th. Uh, next bout I wanted to go over was Tevin Dice taking on Brian Hauser. Now, Tevin Dice, uh, the man has fought Bellator MMA. Uh, he has a 4-2 record, of course, taking on Brian Hauser, uh, coming in with a 2-1 record. Uh, nickname is Doogie. I don't know if he does that little dance, but we'll find out. Um, once again, this is going to be a B2 Fighting Series, 152. Um, the bout itself is going to be a flyweight bout, so I expect a lot of movement and a lot of speed. Uh, I expect a knockout, man, either a, a knockout late in the round or a quick submission because both both these guys are going to be fishing for something. That, that's uh, for sure. Um, next bout coming up, of course, it's going to be a catch weight at 195. Kyle Wright will be taking on Tussle O'Connell Jr. Now, Kyle Wright, of course, um, this guy's uh, nicknamed Super Savage, man. He's 1-0 and as a pro, uh, a world of uh, amateur experience, man, so there's no doubt uh, he's going to come in ready. Uh, he's taking on another another opponent, making his pro debut, of course, in William uh, uh, Tussle, man, uh, Connor Jr., of course. Uh, he's going to be making a pro debut once again, man, a, a world of uh, experience as an amateur um, so coming in with a, you know, as a pro debut, man, it means nothing. I mean, there's a world of experience, so I expect a full fight from both uh, gentlemen coming in. Um, of course, it's going to be a 195, and they got me to thinking, man. I wonder if 195, kind of like what Khabib did with his promotion at 165, if 195 is a, a weight division to make. I mean, there's a lot of 205ers out there that are that are too small. Uh, same thing, there's a lot of 185ers that are too big. You know, might want to have an equal uh, medium. Uh, this is catch weight, but... Just uh, a little two cents. Maybe they should make a 195 weight division. Who knows? What do you think? Let me know. Uh, once again, this is going to be uh, March 19th for a B2 fight series, uh, fighting series 152. And uh, we're going to go over one uh, for an ant anticipated bout that I'm actually looking forward to, man. I'm looking for towards all these fights. Uh, Elias Mamadaliv, of course, he's one and one as a pro. The gentleman is fighting. Justin Welch. Now, Welch, of course, coming in, uh, making his pro debut, man. The guy is experienced. Um, this is a fight that people are going to want to see, uh, especially to find out the end result, of course, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, Elias, man, I mean, the guy is a prospect. He's on his way up with Khabib and everybody else making waves, of course. I'm pretty sure the gentleman is looking forward to that. Uh, B2 fight, fighting series, of course, 152, Somersville, West Virginia. And, uh, for those watching, man, I just want to give a quick shout out, man, my boys, uh, Warren Stewart and Van Bo, out there working with B2 Promotion, man. Uh, better you guys than me, but I ain't going to lie, I'm jealous. I wish I were out there with you guys. Uh, stay tuned, man. B2 Fighting Series is going to be coming to a town near you, hopefully here to Texas soon. We'll see and uh, keep our fingers crossed. But uh, follow them up on Facebook, of course, on Instagram. And uh, for everything else, go to the uh, website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, follow up.